Hey crafters, uh, DM Scotty here. Welcome to the DM's Craft. Uh, you've all seen my stair video where I uh, e show you how to easily make stairs out of cardboard. But I've never shown how to do a circular stairway. We've had people do it on the, uh, the forums and great way to do it, perfect. Uh, but I want to do a kind of official video to show um, how I do it. Um, one reason is because I'm doing AJ's Dungeon for the Dungeon Contest and it has a, it has a couple circular stairways in it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the table and show you how I did that. Here's the starting piece for my project, and how I got the circular, di the circular room was for the spiral stairway. I used a uh, compact disc and just traced around it, and then I used a ruler and went to edge and edge out like that and did a square entryway uh, to get into the uh, circular stairway. Now, how you'll build the stairway up is a bit different than, it's the same technique as doing other stairways, but just a bit different. So what I'm going to do, what I did was I took the CD and I put it on the cardboard again and then I traced around it and when I cut it out you can actually with the CD it's kind of cool you can put a dot in the center for the center of the circle so what I did after that was I cut it I drew a line through it cut it in two and then I've, I've uh, quartered it so you can see I did uh, a line through the center and then another line through the center okay and you can use a protractor or something to uh, or just a square object to get that corner there to make sure that you're square. Okay, so now what I want to do, I cut these in half and I'm going to use these to build up the stairway. So with this stairway, I'm just going to, I'm going to use a half stair and it's going to be kind of like this. So you'll come into the room and you'll kind of go up the stairway. Okay, now you could make it bigger, you could make another quarter here and then make more stairs if you wanted. But I'm just going to make it this way. Okay, so now the way to um, measure the quarters is you can um, use a protractor. Okay, so just use your, once you have this, the half circle, you wanna get the stairs. And those will be 45 degree slices. Okay, so I've got my half circle here that I've cut from this part. And what I'm gonna do is use a protractor. Now this protractor, I just print it up online. You can find this online, just print it right up. You don't even need to buy one. So what I did is I just lined up that center with the, the line going up, and then just mark the 45 degrees. Okay, so now when I, do, when I do that, here I'll show you what I cut. Okay, so I mark the 45 degrees and then cut off uh, a piece. Okay, so now when I, when, I, when I apply that to this, it'll be a wedge missing. Okay, so that's, a, that's part of the stairway. Now I'll take the other, another part of half of a circle and then I cut it, that's a quarter of the circle. So I'll just put it there. And then this last 45 degree piece I cut off, I'll just put it there. So that will be my circular stairway. And that's a, just a very basic construction of the circular stairway. Now you always want to keep in mind when you're building these that you, that for the playability, if you make these stairs too small, it's going to be really hard for the figures to stand on them. Because remember, you got to, we're still going to put the walls on here too. So make it big enough that it's, it's, use, it's, it's physically usable. Uh, if you make it too small, it can be too cramped and everything. You could also cut out the center and have like a post coming up the center. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the standard circular stair. I don't think you need to do that if you want to uh, as a design element. Knock yourself out. That's what the craft is about, adding all the details you want to add. So now to um, finish this out, what I need to do is um, do the walls. And uh, I'll show that next. Okay, so here's my stairway that I've, I've got set up. Now, I need the wall. So what I did was, I, when I cut out the circular piece from the box, I cut the edge of the circular piece out also. So this is, so I don't have to recut the circle. I'm just cutting around um, what I already cut instead of having to cut inside and then the outside. I'm only having to do one cut. So that's kind of nice, and this will work. It's, it's bigger than this, but it'll still work. Okay, so. What I want to do now is take this, and the easiest way to do it is just to grab a wedge and then measure it. So you just mark it with your pen. All right? So now, although these pieces are bigger um, on the stairway, each one is only a wedge. So there's a wedge, there's a wedge, there's a wedge, and there's a wedge until you get to the bottom. 
So what, I'll, what I'm going to do is just keep measuring with the wedge around the circle. So I need four of these. Okay. So now I'll just cut these out and then I'll show you how we apply them. So now we've got the pieces. Now when you cut this circle, it can be tricky to cut those circles, so you may get a little bit of like over, overlap in there. So you can take your scissors and kind of clean that up a little bit if you need to. And so what I'll do is I'll put this on there, on that first wedge. Uh, this one needs to be cleaned up too, I'll do that. And then the second wedge. Third wedge and the fourth wedge. So there you're building up the wall um, without being obtrusive. Now you could just put a circular wall, you could put a piece of cardboard all the way around if you want, but why? I mean, that's, this, is, this works just fine. It shows exactly where the wall is. You've got it tiered, uh, no problems, okay? So now we have this part here that leads into the hallway itself. Now we'll have our standard walls coming up here and touching, and then up here and touching, but I need to fill that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circle that I've got. I'll actually cut a piece off so it's easier to work with. And then I'll just put it in there. And then I can see where it comes here. So what I'm going to do is the other piece will come up here. So I'm going to go like this. So I'll mark it there. And I've, cut it, I've marked it at an angle so that when the other piece comes up, it'll connect. Okay. So now I'll just, uh, so now all, all that remains is to just glue all this down, glue all, the, da all the, the steps and the walls down, and then we'll put the walls here, the standard walls that, that uh, lead into the stairway, and then we'll, uh, we'll work on the painting part. Here's a, so, the same shape I showed before. I just used a uh, CD and drew the circular part, the stairway, and then I have a hall coming off of it. Now, I have the circular half of the circular disc, so what I did was I put it on the stairway and I drew across. Now, I, uh, I want to have uh, the stairway going down, so this will be, be a little bit different. So what I've done is I've drawn the wall Ignore this. I've drawn the wall about a centimeter width, and then I'm going to cut this part out. So all this part will be cut out. So when I, I'll go ahead and cut that out, and then we'll come back and uh, talk about the next part. So continuing, these uh, are the stairs uh, going down. Now I've cut this part out. Uh, I drew this, drew this uh, wall here, and then cut this out. Now um, what I need to do is. Uh, now I need to fill this in. So, but I can't do it the same kind of dimensionality as I did the other one because it'll be popping up and that won't look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cardstock and I'm going to trace uh, this hole. Okay. Now I've already done that and cut it out. And then what I'll do is when I trace the hole, I will trace around. So here's what I end up with. I cut that out uh, and I end up with that. Okay, so now why I left a little lip on there is so that'll fit on there to give you something to glue on that strip to fit to the, the bottom there, okay? So now that I've got that, I need to make the rings or the, st the stairway uh, half circles. So what I'll do is I'll just trace that. So I can mark that and then I can just trace that and I'll cut it out. Now to get the angles, I'll just use my protractor like I did before, and then get the 45 degree angles and the 90 degree angle. Uh, so what I've done is I've pre-cut these. So you'll, wanna, you'll have to make a couple of these pieces to fit. So what I've done is I've um, pre-cut them. So that'll be, the, that'll be the lowest stairway. Then that half will be the next, and then the, the one single wedge will be the next one. So now to assemble this, I need to uh, glue this on. So I'll glue that on. Then I will take the big wedge and I'll put it, I'll glue it like that. 
And I've drawn a line on there so you can see where the steps end because it's kind of hard to see. And then the halfway or the half circle, uh, half half circle I should say, would be the next step. And then the final uh, 45 degree wedge would be there. So then it looks like the stairs are going up. Now I still have a problem here. Uh, one is this looks like the wall, but it's actually not really the wall because um, I'm going to have two walls coming up to join here, but I need a circle. So what I did is I took the CD again and I traced a circle. So then what I did is I drew the line inside the circle, it was the wall, and then cut the center out. So now I have this wall part. So then I could lay that there. And what I can do is I can I know that the walls will be coming up this way. So at the corner, I can mark it across. And at this corner, I can mark it across. And then I'll just cut those off, that excess off. So now what you get is the wall, which we'll glue on. And then we'll have the two walls that complete this hallway touching it. So I'll glue those on. So now what we'll do is um, I'm going to show uh, the painted versions of both stairways and this one uh, you'll see when I have you'll see them because I'll have the walls on both stairways and they're all painted up with the uh, we'll paint them up with the highlights and everything. So there we go we'll move on to that section. Here are my stairs, and uh, you can see that the, uh, the texture on the paint is very black. Uh, I'm going for like a basalt look, so I'm going to paint these a little bit differently than I have in the past. Now, I'm not going to do the shadowing because the tile itself is basically like a black color with some lighter flecks in it. What I'm going to use is a Williamsburg Blue uh, acrylic paint, and I'll just grab my brush, my chisel brush, and then I'm going to do the same technique that we've done before. I'll just, uh, you know, follow the walls. So this will pick out the detail on the uh, stairs itself. So uh, I'll do the stairs to show you. So, so this, this will help differentiate between the, le the stairs themselves from the tile because um, there's no definition really yet. But when you add that highlight, it helps to add like a definition uh, to the stairway. And then I'll just uh, finish uh, uh, doing the edges on all the walls and uh, I'll give you a look at that. So next I have the stairway going down and you can see that since I have the cardstock for the stairs it's really hard to differentiate between the different stairs. But see, watch how these pop out when I add the, uh, the highlight. Now when you're doing this be careful because these are much smaller than the other stairways that you did on the previous tile and you don't want to get it on the you don't want to get it on the previous stair you want to try to just pick out the edges and then we get up here we can do that so now you can see that I have the definition that I need to differentiate the different stairs and now we'll just finish painting this up and it'll be ready for play. So here's our finished tile and a uh, little adventure for uh, scale. And you can see he easily fits on the, on the steps themselves. So, no problem there. Here we have the stairways going down and the same thing, he easily fits on the different level of stairs. So there we go. That's uh, some easy way to craft stairs. You can always add your own um, embellishments to any of these uh, techniques, uh, but that's the basic way to do it. So I'll see you next time on the DM's Craft. Hey crafters, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DM's Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe and I have tons of other videos as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. 
And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft!